Okay, lovelies. So welcome to today's weekly live show right here inside the Yoga Teacher Collaborative. If you're new here, my name is Laura Green. I am a yoga teacher. I have been teaching yoga for about 14 years, practicing yoga for 22 years. I am based in Hampshire, but I also um, do a lot of business and marketing mentorship for yoga teachers because it is my absolute passion to show yoga teachers how to thrive so that you can really be supporting yourself and supporting your community through yoga. So today we're looking at five top tips to reinvigorate your business this September. And also with that, I just wanted to do a little kind of a check-in and what's happening um, energetically at the moment, because there's some stuff going on that you might think is just happening to you or that you're going through on your own. And sometimes it's just good to know that there's some other things at foot at the moment. So wherever you are in your business, if you have taken the summer off um, just to rest, to reinvigorate your energy or for childcare, and you're restarting your classes in September, or if like me, you have taught through the summer, I didn't take this August off, it doesn't really matter. There is still an energy that comes with September. You know, it's that kind of get a new pencil case, get back to what serves you, start again, start afresh. And that is energy you'll be feeling. And it's also energy your yoga students will be feeling as well. So now's a really good time to do some key things in your business to make the most of that. I always feel like September is the 2nd of January when it comes to class numbers. There can be a real surge. Often doesn't happen in week one of September. It can be a little slower coming in week two and week three. So as you know, I am studying astrology at the moment. Many of you are signed up to my Realm of Emotions course, which is a hybrid between astrology, tantric yoga, and the alchemy of emotions. So I just wanted to have a little look at the astrology right now. You know, we always think that September has that back to school feeling because it's when we went back to school and that's kind of in, embedded in us, this new term, get organized. But actually, it's also matched with what is happening every year astrologically at this time. So we have just come into what is called Virgo season. Now, this energy is going to be affecting you and it's going to be affecting your students as well. And this is what in our work we really want to capitalize on because Virgo is about health. It is about healthy routines in business, but also very much in our personal health. It's why people feel inspired to start something new or resume something new like yoga in September. It is literally written in the stars. Virgo is detail oriented, health focused, routine focused about getting back into that energy, which why September is a great time for beginners yoga course. Is. It's a great time for marketing your business, for being more visible, for doing flyer drops, poster campaigns, showing up in Facebook groups, going back to old students and inviting them to begin again because you're working in flow with the energy at the moment. But there might be just a little kind of resistance to this this week and next week. Now, I'm sure you've probably seen on the social media, seen in the news, maybe read, that at present, we have seven different planets in retrograde. And make sure I get them right for you. So our planets that are currently in retrograde are Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, Mercury, and also Chiron. Chiron isn't a planet. It's another celestial body that has an effect on our energy. And the planet of Venus just moved out of retrograde on Monday, gone. But it takes quite a while for its energy to catch back up. So that's kind of seven and a half, eight sort of planets that have had this retrograde feeling. Now, bear with me, especially if you're not normally into astrology see if this resonates with you. Retrograde is a feeling of reflection, of reviewing, of looking back, 
of slowing down. It's like you're cosmically being slowed down and held up at the moment. Now, this can bring resistance. If you're someone that likes to be go, 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 there's very little fire at play astrologically at the moment. So that kind of like, hurry up, get on with my classes. I've seen a few of you grumbling that your beginner's classes aren't sold out yet. Um, especially those that are happening in a couple of weeks time. I can feel this impatience from some of you. This, I want to go, 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 but it's not quite happening for you yet. We haven't had seven planets in retrograde for 200 years. That means not a single one of us has ever felt this energy before. Okay, this slow down. So it very much has this feeling and it's affecting me. I really feel it of, Hurry up and wait. <laughs> so as I say, I want to get going. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There's something that's making us pause, making us wait. And this is really good. As I say to my mentees all of the time, the best way to build your business is slowly, sustainably. Build up one class at a time and then add another. Do not start five projects all at once, planning a retreat, planning a day retreat, planning a new course, getting a workshop going, starting a beginner's thing. We've got to do one thing at a time. So if you're really feeling this energy of the moment, kind of, I want to get going, but you're being slowed down, trust that, go slow. So this energy is actually starting to clear by the end of next week. So I want you to slow down this week coming. See this week as organizing behind the scenes. I'm going to give you the top tips on the things I want you to organize. So next week is about behind the scenes, tidying up, planning, organizing, trust the slow pace. Don't hurry yourself. And then at the end of next week, Friday, we have the new moon in Virgo. As I said, Virgo is going to bring this energy of new routines, new stuff. Come on, let's get going. Let's make my health a priority. It's going to be making people want to come to yoga classes. But that's a week away. And on the following day, next Saturday, Mercury moves out of retrograde and everything with communication starts to move forwards. So this week ahead is about behind the scenes, organizing yourself, sorting yourself out. The new moon, the energy starts to change. Next Saturday, Mercury comes out of retrograde, so communication gets easier next Saturday. So then things start moving forwards in week three of September. So please don't worry if you feel behind. Please don't worry if things are slower than you want them to be at the moment. It is the cosmic order of stuff. And slowing down is really, really important. I've massively stepped back from my business this year. I'm not running teacher training this year. I've not been running other things this year. And I've been using that slow time to revise my own health routines. I now feel so healthy, so full of energy, ready to start moving forwards. So slowing down can be so good for us. So what are the things to be working on behind the scenes next week before the bull gets really running after the 15th of September. Please start writing these down. If anybody is happy to note the top five of the bullet point in the comments, that would be amazing. Step one, please sort out your Google My Business. Now, if you're sitting there all smug thinking, I've done my Google My Business, you've never done. You're never done. Google My Business is like your store shop front. You always need to be refreshing, reviewing your store shop front. So think about it with high streets right now. Their shop window gets refreshed every change of season. They have an autumn energy coming in. They mix up the colors. They mix up the feel of the shop window. Then you know, they might do a special display um, as we come into Halloween. 
Then as we come into Christmas and winter, that storefront will show, change its shop window again. Same for spring, same for summer. When it comes to your website, your Google, your business, your posters, you're never done. You need to change them seasonally, just like a shop window would. So Google my business. Now that is the free map. So I'm just going to put a quick screen share on, I think. Okay. All right, so you can see Google. I am just gonna pick a random town. Now let's say I live in Watford. I don't, my grandma used to. I'm just put yoga Watford. Maybe I've just moved to the area and I'd like to go to a yoga class in Watford. This is what the greatest number of people are gonna do when they're looking for a new yoga class. They're gonna Google. Some other people will go on social media and ask for recommendations. Those are the main two things. Yoga Watford. And what comes up straight away is the map before any websites come up even straight away is the map. Now it is free, my lovelies, it is free to be on this map. And that's where people go straight away. So when I've seen that map, I'm going to see what are those top three results. If you can get yourself in these top three results on the map, you're going to see a dramatic increase in the new inquiries to your classes from people just Googling you. And I repeat, it is free and it's not even tied to having a website. So what makes sure you're top here? It's straight out the number of reviews. So let's see here, top three, we have Feel Hot Yoga Watford. Yoga by Dr. Mala and Yoga Nastics. Now those three are coming up top. You can see all of these stars. They've got great Google reviews. Phil Hot Yoga Watford's got 40. Yoga by Dr. Mala's got 84. And Yoga Nastics has got 26. And then I have the option to call them. I can click in there and get more information. I can go to their website. Let's look at Yoga by Dr. Mala. You know, I've got some information here, um, a little bit. She's got some reviews. There's some photos in there. Let's see if she's got any updates. Just a little bit, reviews. She's got some of the services listed. All of that is free. So if you haven't got your Google My Business and you don't know what I'm talking about, I would like you to, please someone type this. I want you to Google Google my business, okay? And then it's gonna show you Google my business profile, get listed on Google. Then when you click that, it is gonna lead you through step by step how to get your Google business listing, okay? Then you need to get reviews. <laughs> You need to get reviews and fill in all of the information. Add photos, add um, services, add your hours, add all the locations you teach, add as much information as you can, add offers. If you do a free first class, if you do a 50% off your first class, add everything you possibly can to it. So that is your first step is Google My Business. If you've got your Google My Business, go back in there, update it, add a new offer. You can even link and add blog articles to it. The more active you are in your Google My Business profile, the higher up that map you're going to be coming, the more free organic class inquiries you are going to get. You don't have to have your website sorted. You can just put in your phone number and email address and add the web bit later. It can almost act like a little website for you whilst you sort your website out. So crack on, there is no excuses, zero, none, zero excuses, mandatory. Now come back and tell me when you've done that. Go and refresh, revise, update your Google My Business. Step two. Okay, so step one this week, sort out your Google My Business, my love days. Step two, I want you to get more reviews on your Google My Business. Because you saw those three ones that came up first 
was because they had lots of five star reviews and that's all it takes. So now I'm going to put a screen share back on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So when you want to ask people for your Google reviews, I'm going to suggest a couple of things for you. First off, I don't think this is entirely in line with Google's best practices, but everybody does it. Run a competition or give an incentive for somebody to leave you a review. Everybody loves a competition. September's a great time for competition. So get on your social media, mention it in classes, send it out on your email list, a competition. Everybody that leaves you a five-star Google review will be entered into the competition to win. And then what do you want them to win? If you're running a day retreat, maybe they could win, win a free spot. That's obviously quite a high ticket. You're going to get lots of entries for that. Maybe they just win a month of free yoga with you. One person, one, one person. So everybody that enters gets put into the prize draw. One person can win a spot on a day retreat or a spot on a workshop or a month of free yoga or one yoga class or maybe an essential oil. If you run other treatments, maybe you're a Reiki healer, maybe they can get a Reiki session with you. Um, maybe they can win a mat, just something. People love a competition. Or if that doesn't feel good with you ethically, and I understand that, the other thing is just tell people why it's important to you for them to leave your review. So send a nice email saying, so looking forward to welcoming you back at classes. It's been really lovely. Can I ask a favor? And if I emailed you and the subject was, can I ask a favor? I know I have enough good credit with you from showing up and helping you that you would open that and a good 50% of you would probably do me a favor. We're helpful people. So send an email, can you do me a favor? Um, it would make such a difference to my small business if you could leave me a five-star review on Google. This helps other people to find my classes and experience the wonders of yoga. Then you must, and swipe so put a screenshot on, just checking it's working. You must, I don't think the screenshot's working, is it? Let's gonna try it again. You must <laughs> give people the link. You must make it easy for them. Okay, so when you come back to Google My Business, go into your profile. So this is me, Laura Green Yoga. I've got two. I'm just gonna go into View Profile. And then I can see here, I'm on my desktop, it says Read Reviews. If I click into read reviews, right up here, it says get more reviews. Click get more reviews. And this is going to give you a review link. Copy that link and share that when you're asking, whether you're asking on email, social media. If you're asking in class, give them a little tiny printout with that on it um, to just make it really easy so someone just has to click right there and leave you the review. Don't make it hard. And you'll notice in both of my examples, I said, leave me a five-star review. Ask for what you want. Just be a little bit more blatant. So that's your two things, please. Mm, that's five. Okay, that's your first two things. Clear out your Google My Business. See it like a change of shop window. Run a competition or just ask people for a favor to leave you more Google reviews. Those two things will dramatically increase the organic reach of new students flowing into your classes. What could be better? We're still in our tidy up behind the scenes week. Um, so I would like you to send, and I always ask you to do this in January as well, one-to-one -one communication to any regular students you haven't seen for a while. So you haven't seen them over summer or you haven't seen them in the last year. Go back over your registers or just sit with your mind and think, who did you see a few times? Who was a regular that you haven't seen for a while? Tap into this Virgo season energy where people want to recommit to their healthy routines, message those people one-to-one. -one. Hi, Kate, 
I really missed you. I hope you've had a lovely summer. I know September is a great time to be restarting our healthy lifestyle habits. I would love you to come back to class. Click here to book. You could even offer them incentive. I've missed you so much. Come and have a freebie. Give them a free voucher or come and have 50% off your next class. Nobody can resist them. Help people get back into the habit. Virgo season is about habits. So anybody that you get to restart during September, it's about them forming a habit. So don't worry about that freebie or that 50% off. Think of the long term. They're building a habit with you. One to one, so much more impactful than a group mass email, group social media. Yes, it takes time. And that's what makes it so impactful. You're telling that person that they were worth your time of you reaching out personally. They're also telling the universe that your business is important to you. You don't half 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 ask it. You don't take the shortcuts. You don't take the quick wins. You show up for you and your business and you do things properly. So one-to-one -one messages and message people in the method in which they normally contact you. So I have a few students who always reach out to me on Instagram. I'll message them on Instagram. Few people who always reach out to me on Messenger. I'll go to them on Messenger. Few people always WhatsApp. Few people always email. Message your students via the method that they most commonly communicate with you. Three, four, four. Um, please refresh your posters. Okay. See it like your shop window. Go and give them a color refresh, a word refresh. Um, and think about what do people crave at this time of year, getting back to routine, getting back to healthy habits, getting back to looking after themselves. So update your marketing, your website, your posters, your flyers to match the current energy of the season. Okay. And lastly, your own self. Development number five, your self development, your sanity. <laughs> so, this energy of Virgo season applies to you too. What are your healthy habits, or what healthy habits would you like to establish that will support you better in your business? As yoga teachers, we are giving out so much physical mental and emotional energy all of the time. So use this Virgo energy right now to recommit to you. Next Friday, a week today on the new moon, sit down and be very ordered. This is the time to do it. What healthy habits do you need to recommit to so that you can be of best service to yourself and best service to your students? I sent out an email to my lot recently about commitment and self-discipline. Many of you know I've been on a challenge of um, walking 10,000 steps a day. That number is arbitrary. But what isn't is the fact that I show up for myself every single day. 10,000 steps takes me an hour and a quarter's walk. It gets me 8,000. And then I do 2,000 steps just going about my day. Every single day, I take an hour and a quarter out to go for a walk. I have done that for, I think it's 206, 207 consecutive days. And that is a priority, which means I've had to put other things down, not reply to an email, not um, get a newsletter out. I can do those things at other times, but for an hour and a quarter, I show up for me. So what is it you need? And I urge you to take my 100 day challenge. What can you commit to for 100 days starting next Friday. Start with the Virgo new moon so that you are maintaining healthy habits for you so you can show up with your full loving energy for your family, your life, your students, and your business. Um, so thank you so much. Um, anything I can do to support you, let me know. I have lots of CPD and trainings coming up. 
If you really feel drawn to this living in alignment with the astrology, you want to check out my Realms of Emotions 12-month course going through the full moons, the connected astrology, tantric yoga, and alchemy of emotions. My in-person yin CPD is in November. My online yin CPD is in December. Both of those qualify you to teach yin yoga. Um, Alchemy of Touch, hands-on assist is in January. I think there's something else as well. Ah, yes. Transformative Rest, a week-long re weekend retreat with me is in December. That's a training for teachers. I've got one spot left. So committing to you behind the scenes this week. Go slow. Things start moving ahead next weekend. Joe's just put, um, sorry, Kate's just put, committed to an hour swim every Friday morning starting next Friday. Kate, how cosmically aligned. Well done, my lovely. So yes, get in the comments. Let us know what you're going to commit to. Go slow next week. Take it easy. Behind the scenes work. Following week, full steam ahead. Um, I'll be in tree for next week running a retreat. So I probably won't see you next Friday. Um, but I will catch up with you again soon. Thanks for now, lovelies.